Let's take a listen to how an 8900 can really help a vocalist out. I have a session of um, some friends of mine from Newfoundland, uh, Ashland. We have uh, a track with Cassie singing live with a band. I want to play it and uh, use uh, the compressor to bring up uh, the low parts of her vocal as well as bringing down the peaks. Let me show you a little bit about how, how this works. I'm going to use um, the hard knee mode. There's a soft knee mode when this is uh, clicked to uh, soft, and a hard knee mode, which gives you a set ratio, which runs from 1.5 to 1, 1.2 to 1.5 to 1, to 20, 30, 50 to 1. Fairly hard. We're going to play with this control in a minute, but let's start with uh, like 4 to 1. The threshold control in a DRC is really a compression gain control. This does two things as you increase its sensitivity. It reduces the threshold, the point at which it cuts in, and it increases the gain below threshold. This is, on an 8900, this meter always looks at the gain of the device. This is the instantaneous gain. This comes right off the control signal. It's the gain of the device. And we're going to use that to bring the vocal up a, a little bit. We're going to start with uh, medium timing, straight up, no automatic recovery, which we call hysteresis. Hysteresis is automatic recovery. We like the term hysteresis. Um, and let's take a listen. It's really a vocal of moderate level that jumps up, jumps up too much. What we'd like to do is to bring these together a little bit. Let's see. Okay, I'm bringing down the output gain and reducing the threshold. I'm going to keep reducing the threshold until I pick up her quietest, until I pick up her quietest singing, which I think is right. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And I'm going to play with the ratio control. Here's full 100 to 1 ratio. Now we're over compressing now, but to pull the compression back, I'm going to keep the threshold at the same point, but reduce the ratio. And we want to bring up the low level stuff a little bit, so I'm going to turn the ratio up a little bit more. We're good, 8 to 10 to 1 now. But we're tuning, this morning in my we're tuning the DRC to fit the vocal into the track over a very wide me. range. It's a 25 dB range. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and turn on the automatic so right release. This morning in my kitchen. And we see it capturing the soft stuff after she finishes a loud word. Breath comes up. And to catch the peaks, I'm going to bring in the fast RMS. You notice this? This is picking up just the transients at the beginning of the lines. It's set to about 6 dB, so, 
So peaks over 60 B are being addressed by, being attacked by fast RMS. Pretty good sounding vocal. Let's see what it sounds like if we take the compressor out. Some real damage to that, haven't we? Whatever it takes you to believe it. That's all right with me. Let's listen to this. Take this morning in my kitchen. Out. Whatever that helps you to believe. Well, clearly, our compressor is a dynamic range controller. We've taken her whole dynamic range and reduced it to fit into this window of opportunity just above the track. Take this morning in my kitchen. Let's go a step farther. She's a little woofy on her vocal, little, little muddy. Let's dial up some EQ. To do that, I've got an EQ pre and EQ post. When you use EQ pre, take out some of that low end before the compressor. Now the compressor is really getting the vocal balance that we want to listen to. But maybe to fit it into the track a little bit better, to warm it up in the track, post compressor, We'll bring up a couple of dB at 150 and nothing on the high end. In my kitchen, whatever that helps you to so what this does, it takes here's EQ out, to in, out, That's all right with me. you can hear the woofiness in the vocal. This morning, in my Just by kitchen. playing with Low end shells, we clear up the mid range in the vocal. The compressor reaches into the mid range of the vocal, and that's what it's controlling.